Hello children, today we are going to begin lesson number 12 that is basic geometrical concepts. We have studied till here triangles, rectangles, squares, two dimensional shapes, then cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, sphere in three dimensional space. See, this is activity 1. This is all about from third standard. Fill in the blanks. A square has dash vertices. That means how many vertices are there? Four. Four joining point because square has four sides. B. A triangle has three sides. Yes. Triangle is formed with the help of three lines. There are two di dash diagonals in a rectangle. You can draw cross line 2 because opposite sides are equal. A circle has no vertices. Circle can be drawn with a curve not a lines. A line has no end point. Yes, you can extend the line as much as you can. Identify open and close figure. See this is the open. There is no joining meeting point together. Whereas this one see if you start at the one corner and pull up to the second third and again you can come to the fourth and its mouth gets closed. This is called as closed figure. See in the S they have drawn S but in the double line also they have drawn and joined to the first line then it gets closed. So this figure is called as closed figure whereas in this see this portion is kept open that means this figure is open figure. Complete the table see edge shapes are given cube, sphere, cone, cylinder and cuboid. Edges a cube has 12 edges so edges and sphere has 0. Why? It is circle. Then cone. Cone has only 1. Cylinder has 2. Whereas cuboid has 12. Vertices. How many vertices in cube? 8. Then sphere. No vertices. 0. Then cone has only 1 in the cone shape. Whereas cylinder 0. And then cuboid has 8. Faces plane as well as curved. In the cube we have 6, sphere 0, cone 1, cylinder 2 and cuboid is 6. Whereas the curved things it is 0, 1, 1, 1 cone and 1 cylinder and 0 in the cuboid. What are the geometrical concepts in the this chapter see we can we are going to learn what is point point is a dot see it is shown here point is a dot kept and it has named as a a point is made by a sharp pencil yes you can sharpen your pencil and keep wherever on your page it becomes a point it is represented by a capital letter of english alphabet Yes, see it is written here point A. We have to name it otherwise it becomes nameless. Point A is represented in the figure. Then what is line segment? A line segment has two end points. Yes, accurate here. You can see two end points. It is named as A and B. Thus it has a definite length and can be measured. Yes, if they have given a line, you have to use the scale. Begin with 0 and measure. You will come to know how much is the length of the line segment. And it is named as AB. So, how will you write? We can write AB and upon it we are going to draw a line. Or you can write it as BA because specific length will be given there. Then, What do you mean by line? Line has no end point and can be extended endlessly in both the direction. Thus, it has no fixed length and cannot be measured. See, a line, it doesn't have specific length. It can be extended in both the directions. One is here and the another one is here. 
so you can pull the line in both the direction it doesn't have fixed length a line can be represented in two ways that is either in this form or in this form pq as well as and line both the sides arrow will come using capital letter of english alphabets everywhere you have to name it we write it as pq in the simple or else pq and a line with the both the arrows that shows that it can be extended in both the direction point 2 using a small letter of the english alphabet we write it as a line l what is remember see important point first one one and only one line can be drawn through fixed points suppose two dots are given if you join one line can be drawn second infinite lines can pass through a single dot if a single dot is there you can pass draw as many as line what is the next geometrical concept ray a ray is a line which has an in initial point but no end point see this is the initial point and ending it is not mentioned it can be extended in one direction endlessly thus it has no definite length and it can cannot be measured because it's a ray we write it as ray ab or ab in the form with the arrow mark it shows that it is a ray how will you measure the line segment with the help of the scale always begin to read with zero where and how much the length is that thing you have to read drawn line is the with a starting zero and it has ended to 4 ab is what it is a line drawn it is of 4 cm see 0 to 1 2 3 and 4 this is 4 cm then the next topic you have to learn is drawing a line segment how will you draw draw a line segment of 4.5 cm first make a point wherever you want you can keep in your book now place ruler that is the scale which you use so that o mark the ruler lies just after point a mark point to b at 4.5 use the scale begin with 0 and mark the point at 4.5 here and draw the line ab and measure the length it will be 4.5 cm activity 2 what is the classify the following as ray line or line segment given questions are there in that you have to identify which is the ray line or line segment a p and q c first dot is there and next arrow is given that means it is a ray then d single line with both the sides ray that means it is a line c dot to dot it is given and line has been joined so that is a line segment why because we can measure the length of the given line measure the length of the following line segments a a and b line is drawn okay use the ruler begin with 0 and end it to b and see how much where it has been completed so it is 2.5 cm p in this again the line is given and q is the ending point begin with 0 and see where it ends so it is 8 cm draw the question number 3 draw the line segment of the given length first of 6.8 then 4.1 7.5 5.8 it is done below in my notebook i'll show question number 4 how many rays do you find in the following figure how many rays do you find the in the following figure name them also see a figure is drawn both the side arrow dots are given here in between what they said 
rays. See, you have to find the rays. T2P, it forms one ray. S2P also forms one ray. Then R2P forms another ray. And T2Q also is another ray. See, so begin with the dot, end with the arrow. Question number 3 that is uh, draw a line segment 6.8 use the scale and draw then 4.1 7.5 and 5.8 after this we have polygons what are polygons a simple closed figure formed with three or more straight line segment is called polygon see to draw the square we have four lines whereas for the triangle we use three lines so that thing we call it as polygon sides of a polygon a b c d is given so b to c we call it as side then a b also this line we call it as side whereas b the joining point one line like this the another line like this that is called as vertex the line segment which forms the polygon are called its side what are vertex vertex of a polygon the point at which two adjacent sides of a polygon meet is called vertex of the polygon joining polygon is done then types of polygons see we have triangle first one triangle is formed with the help of three lines then whereas quadrilateral four sides see any shape but four lines we call it as quadrilaterals here then rectangle we have a special type of a quadrilateral in which opposite sides and diagonals are equal in length is called as rectangle see rectangle this one opposite sides are equal and two diagonals first one as well as second one these we call it as diagonals the next one is square see you can see the square in the picture a special type of rectangle in which all four sides are equal is called a square in this the diagonals are also equal in square see first one and the second one this we call it as diagonals and the sides four sides square has four sides then the picture pentagon five sides a polygon with five sides we call it as pentagon see ab1 bc2 cd3 de4 and ea it is five it has five lines that is five sides and five vertices hexagon hexagon which has six sides see you can see the figure six sides and six joining point now we have activity 3 which of the following are polygons first one no because what is polygon we have said three to four line segment joining that figure we call it as polygon see four sides and it is closed and it is joining that is polygon c no d is yes four sides four line segments triangle yes then circle no this is also no h yes i no j no whereas k yes and l no question number 2 right True T or false F for the following statements. Rewrite the false statements correctly. That means you have to write the right answer. A. A polygon with four sides is called pentagon. No. A polygon with four sides is called as quadrilateral. So the and sentence is false statement. 
B. Every square is a rectangle. Yes. Because four sides are there. Then C. The adjacent sides of a quadrilateral have a common vertex. True. The diagonals of a square are unequal. See square means all the four sides will be equal. The statement is false. We have to correct the diagonal of a squares are equal. E. A triangle is a polygon. Yes, because a figure formed with three or more line segment we call it as polygon. F. All quadrilaterals are rectangles. False. All rectangles are quadrilaterals. A hexagon has six sides. Yes. Statement is true. Draw a quadrilateral PQRS. Yes, you have to draw a quadrilateral of four sides and show what is, where is side, what is diagonal, opposite sides and adjacent sides. That is done below. Look around in your classroom and home and draw five things which are shaped like polygons. Yes, it should have, you have to draw it on your own by checking at your home. First square, you in the form of square, what object is there at home that you have to draw. Then B in the form of triangle as well as in the C. Activity 3, draw a quadrilateral PQRSC. Quadrilateral 4 sides we have done. Sides, which are the sides? We get here 4 sides. First one, second one, third one and 4. PQ, QR, RS and SP. This we call it as Sides, vertices, joining points. This is 1, P, Q, R and yes. Then diagonals. See the line drawn in between inside first one as well as the second one. First one is PR and then QS. This we call it as diagonals. Opposite sides. See for PQ, the opposite side is SR. For PS, we have QR opposites, then adjacent. Adjacent sides PQ and QR, see joining them. Then second, we can write QR and RS, then RS and SP. The next one is SP and PQ. These are what? These are, these are adjacents for the figure. Then what is angle? How it is formed? What it is? A figure formed by joining two rays at their initial points are called as angles. See? Two rays are there. 